We present a new method for video performance cloning. Our method enables to drive a target actor captured in a reference video using a performance of another actor. Different driving videos can be used in order to drive the same target actor. To perform the cloning, we train a deep neural network to translate sequences of poses into frames of the target actor. The poses are represented as part confidence maps. Our network consists of two branches, both of which train the same generator. The paired branch is trained to translate the target actor's poses back to the reference video frames, while the unpaired branch trains the generator to translate unseen poses and motions into temporally coherent video sequences. Given a reference video and its corresponding poses, we first train our network to map the poses back to their original frames. This operation is done by a reconstruction loss along with adversarial loss for paired data. The goal of the second branch is to generate frames that will depict the target actor acting the input motions in a temporally coherent manner. This is done by using adversarial loss to maintain the appearance of the target actor and a temporal coherence loss that ensures that the generated frames follow the optical flow of the driving video. Since generated frames are reconstructed from local patches that were observed by the network in the reference video, we compare poses based on distances between pairs of corresponding limbs. This enables to measure how well the desired motions may be reproduced for more details, please refer to the paper. We now evaluate our approach using a few experiments. We first quantitatively evaluate our algorithm in a self-reenactment setting, where the driving video is taken from a part of the reference video which is excluded from training. Note that our output resembles the driving video, which is the ground truth in this case. The error is reported in the paper. Here we show that we can synchronize between people who are doing approximately the same motions. On the left, the nearest neighbor poses are represented for comparison. Note that the motions are not identical but similar, and the resulting motion is smooth. Here we present an example where the motions of the target actor are different from the driving video. Limbs with orientations that do not exist in the reference video are marked in grey. In this example we drive the same trained network using two videos that contain different motions. In addition, we evaluate the necessity of the unpaired branch. It can be seen that using only the paired branch, artifacts of temporal incoherence can be spotted. We compare our results to CycleGun and pix 2 pix which are aimed at unpaired and paired image translation respectively. CycleGun was trained to translate driving video frames into reference video ones, and the pix 2 pix network were extended to support our 3D parts confidence maps. Note that our results are cleaner and more coherent. We now discuss about the limitations of our model. Our network is not able to generate patches that do not exist in the reference video, but only to recombine existing ones in a natural manner. We train the network using a reference video that only shows vertical motions of arms going up and down one at a time. The network is able to generate poses where one or even both arms are up, despite not having this pose in the training data. However, it fails to generate horizontal arm motion since these limbs were never seen in that orientation. Since we represent poses only by using joint positions, finer details such as hands, clothes, shoes and face are generated by the network based only on the connections between pose and appearance that have been spotted during the training on the pair data. 
Here we can see that the resulting video has some artifacts, and the network struggles to generate finer details. However, our method still managed to drastically modify the motion of the target actor. Thank you.